Hi and welcome to Biostock Studio here at Medicom Village in Lund. We are in the midst of reporting season and on Thursday medtech company Clinical Laser Thermia Systems, or CLS for short, published their report for the third quarter. And here to tell us more is CEO Don Mjogen. Welcome Don. Thank you so much. So if we look at the third quarter, what are the most important events and what do they mean for you going forward? So um, the third quarter, I'd say we have three main events that we managed to achieve during the third quarter. Um, firstly, um, we managed to um, get Health Canada's approval for the new sterilization solution for our disposable components, and thereby we could resume the clinical study that is ongoing in Toronto. Obviously an important study for us that provides vital data on the use of our products in focal therapy in early to mid-stage prostate cancer. Uh, the second thing is that we enlarged and enhanced our organization in the Q3. Um, we have hired uh, Anders Kvalander, who is now our VP for Regulatory Affairs and Quality Assurance. Um, we also <coughs> created a new function in the company, which is for marketing manage management and, and scientific marketing management, which is now headed by Lotta Nilsson. So that was a vital strengthening of the organization, important one, as we are moving into 22. And as we have communicated, we plan to launch product into the prostate space. Thirdly, um, in the quarter, we managed to finalize the product development, adapting the Thermoguide workstation, which we use for, for high um, precision monitoring of the ablation on the MR platform. And by doing so, we're obviously then opening up for the market, um, and uh, a bigger market, where we can also use our system on the GE portfolio of MR scanners. So th th these are the three most important uh, events in the third quarter of, of, of this year. And how would you describe the company's financial position? Uh, this year, uh, earlier this year, we, um, we had two share issues actually uh, that generated approximately 70 million Swedish kroners to the company. Um, so our, our position now is strong. Um, the use of these uh, funds mainly goes into um, the clinical, further clinical developments that we have announced, but also for the planned launch of products in 2022 into the prostate space. And if finally we look ahead a bit, what are the most important activities for CLS? Well, to continue to generate the clinical evidence um, in support of both our regulatory um, objectives, but also of the commercial objectives. So in other words, making sure that the FDA clearance um, for the system on the MR platform into the neurospace in US is clearly one of the most important thing when we move forward. So um, we're expecting the submission to go in this quarter of, of 2021. Further generation of clinical evidence, as I just mentioned, um, we have many ongoing, I say actually many, because I said several ongoing discussions with sites um, to add to the clinical development program that the company is currently uh, operating in. Um, important for us to continue that, um, to generate the evidence for the launch of the products, not only into the prostate space, but eventually also into the neuro space. Coming back to the sterilization issue that I think um, our investors and, and our shareholders cannot have missed the issues that we've had with that. Now, the um, Health Canada's approval of that documentation and of the solution, um, we have now moved on from that and we just released um, uh, information that we're now also releasing product into the US market. The next step for us is to do the same thing for the European market. So <clears throat> that's obviously a very important uh, component moving forward in the company as well. Um, and I think thirdly, uh, uh, when we look ahead, um, really to partner up um, with a, um, a commercial partner for the prostate space, as we have mentioned before, and to launch product into that space uh, during the next year um, is crucial for the company and, and the progression of, of the business development. Now, it will be the second generation of our product that goes in through also the clinical 
development program and also then into launching in 2022. And I'm, I'm confident when I look at what we've achieved this far that it's going to be um, a fantastic product that comes out in 22, divided between two different imaging platforms. We talk about the MR ultrasound fusion imaging uh, as well as the MR imaging. And by having both these two platforms in the launch program for next year, will certainly enlarge the addressable market um, and also the uh, potential for revenues in the coming years. Well, we look forward to continue to, to follow you and thank you for coming. Thank you so much, Cecilia. Thank you.